Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Bebop here. Today we're going to be going over BIS class setups, okay? We're going to cover the Spear Great Axe. We're going to be covering the tanking with the Great Sword. We're going to be covering healing, all sorts of stuff. So let's get into it. I uh, set this up on my Bebop account and it's not going to have 725 gear, but this will give you the basic ideas of what you want for a BIS class setup. And so this will apply to the new current update. So let's get into gear real quick. So what I have slotted here and for this is for PVE, you know, M1 through threes. You always want Enchanted Ward on as many pieces as you can get. So if you can get them on all five pieces, that's great. If you can get them on just four, that's great. And the Azoth the Crystal set is really good about doing that it's because you have Enchanted Ward and Refreshing and it comes with a random third perk. Since this, this is my DPS class for Spear and Great Axe setup, Bleeding Sweep is awesome to have on your clothes because that's one of the abilities you will have as a main Spearman. And when we go to the chest piece, I have Enchanted Ward, Refreshing. If you want to spec out your clothing pieces with a, a harnessing, either fire or lightning or whatever uh, the dungeon may call for, if you're going up against Ancients, you know, then lightning harnessing is really good then you can also put that on your gear, okay? Now, if you have that on your gear, you also would then need a spear like this one with a augmented electrified um, room glass in it or a topaz. That way you're doing electricity damage, lightning damage, and then the harnessing will buff that lightning damage, okay? So, as we keep going on, Enchanted Ward, Refreshing and Health, and then I have my Toon Leather Pants. I set it up because most of you are going to have a Toon Leather Pants from the main story quest in Savage Divide. You can put whatever last perk you want on there to complement whatever your main build is. And then Fortified Perf Rate on the, you know, clothing piece is really good for the main Spearman because you get 10% for, um, buffs your, increases your armor by 10% for 6 seconds. Also, I have Enchanted Ward on there. So... If we look here, also, I am four out of four stacks of refreshing. So that's really good to get your cooldowns faster. But as you know, with the spear, you're pretty much getting all your cooldowns really quick anyways. Not a huge deal with the spear. So if you can match it up that way, cool. If not, that's cool too. Now, I do have protection amulet. So you will do this for each mutation. And at bosses, some of the bosses, you will switch your amulet to maybe a slash protection or a strike protection. Uh, depending or even a thrust protection but let's say we're setting this up for genesis right so void protection this week so the receive 15 percent less void damage divine and health now empowerment and health would be the best thing i don't have one of those in a void so it is what it is and then we go leeching thrust hardy and then we have this endless thirst earring artifact earring Healing consumables are 33% stronger, but healing potions are down 25% longer. So refreshing toast added on there will help the cooldown a little bit. But you get the empowering toast and the fortified toast. It's really great for DPSs. For the spear, must have enfeebling skewer and vicious or rogue. Now keep in mind if you have rogue, backless enemies, your rogue will never proc on them. So because they don't have backs. So you're trying to rely on getting criticals to have your vicious proc. So you would need to switch to a vicious spear on backless enemies. And then keen just for the extra critical chance. If I'm at a weird angle, then that keen can maybe help me get a critical. But in Feebling Skewer, weakens the target 47% for 8 seconds, which is huge. Okay. Gotta have that. On the Great Axe, must have Enfeebling Maelstrom, okay? And then usually Vicious goes great with it. Enfeebling Maelstrom will weaken the targets 27% for 8 seconds. So, you want to make sure you have that on your Great Axe, the most important thing. Now, I run the Cunning Heart Room of Firestorm, mostly on my DPS classes, but when you're actually using the main Spearman class, you go Rending Vines, always, okay? This is what you're going to go with right here, and you're going to upgrade all the way. Inflicts Rend on hit, reducing target's armor by 20% for 5 seconds, reduces your stamina regeneration by 50% for 5 seconds. But you got Spear and stuff, your stamina regen is going to be just fine. So, that's what you want. And then, of course, Serum's over here, just in case you're going into a big pool. So, for main Spearman, this is pretty much what you're going to run. And this is going to help you get your cooldowns faster right here. 
All spear abilities are cool down and reduced by 10% on the second hit of the light attack chain. Huge. First successful hit with an ability to, uh, within two seconds after dodging. Reduce all spear cooldowns by 20%. Huge. When you sweep and you stab down, you do 25% more increased damage to knockdown targets. Also, you will cool have your cooldowns go down by 15%. So, fortify all the way down the tree for the main spearman. And that's what you'll go with 99% of the time. And for the great axe, this is the setup I'll go with right here. You always want to have reap. Go one dot down. Now that reaches out to eight meters. Then you want to have maelstrom. You can go all the way down the tree to get that second spin, but be careful. That second spin can disrupt the group. So, if you want to go one spin, you can do that. And grab well all the way down the tree. Then you go with the right side ultimate. But basically with this is you're going to pull enemies into you. Maybe throw them close with the grab well. And then you can maelstrom to weaken the group. Okay. That's what you're going to do. And of course, if you have your vines on, you can, you know, reap. You can throw the grab well, slam down with the vines. And then you can do your maelstrom so you don't disrupt the uh, grouping. That's what you're going to do with the great axe. Now, let's go over attributes. So, the spear, great axe combo, you want to go with 350 strength. Now, you might be like, well, why 350 strength? It scales with dex. That is very true. If you hover over the spear, it, it scales with dex 90%. Strength was 65%. The difference is, here at this dot, 10% base damage increased to abilities and the final attack in the melee light attack chain, which is two hits. The second hit is the final attack in the spear light chain. And now you're always doing abilities with the spear. So the 10% base damage increase will actually make you do more DPS over time. Now, if you go up against a backless boss, then you would need to have your stuff switch to 350 for the extra 15% critical chance while empowered. Also, this dot right here, 7% base damage increase while under 90% health. Huge, okay? Stamina region rate um, while performing basic melee attacks. Also a big thing with the spear because you're always dodging and rolling to get your cooldowns going faster. Then you go to 25 int for this dot. 5% damage increase to backstabs and random critical hits. And then you go the rest into decks or wherever you feel comfortable for whatever you know amount of con you want to slot. Okay, So that's what you would run right there with this setup. And that's the best DPS you're going to have. Now... Let's go to the next class. All right, the next one's gonna be the Rapier Musket. Now I'm gonna separate this into a different video because on my stream, I will exclamation mark and be able to link all these together. And then I will go over the great sword for, for a fresh start new characters. So it's a regular great sword. Then we'll also cover the Serenity and that'll be the same video. But um, then I got tanking set up and then I have healing set up. So look forward to those videos coming soon. I stream every day live on Twitch if you wanna stop by. Come see me, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Later.